Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am Mick Alphany. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I would greatly appreciate that. And if you could, please click that like button, turn it into a rocket, and send it into the stratosphere. So it's not every day that I'm very, very excited. However, I went on to Twitter and on the Fed Payments Improvement page, it says this. Standards make things, well, standard. Here's why the ISO 20022 messaging standards are important for instant payments and the Fed Now service. So now they have a link here. Let's click on this link. Let's read a little bit further. So this is on the frbservices.org website. You can go here and check this out, or you can go to the tweet and click that link there, and it will take you to this page so you can do the reading yourself if you should so choose. And it says, standards are so integrated into our world, it's easy to forget they exist. Yet it's standards that allow you to call or text someone even if they have a different type of phone or carrier than you or withdraw cash from an ATM machine not owned by the financial institution that issued your card. In the financial industry, messaging standards are what make it possible for systems and networks around the world to communicate with each other. So they're talking about interoperability. They're hitting towards that interoperability is where we're all moving. And I know I'm preaching to the choir. A lot of you are the choir when I say ISO 20022. I've been waiting a long time for a lot more substantial information to come out to cover that particular topic. But if you look at my comment section, a lot of um, a lot of my great subscribers like I am Sule, I believe, posted about ISO 20022 months ago in the comment section. And our comment section is filled with useful information about ISO 20022. So if you have some useful information, Feel free to leave it in the comment section for others to be better informed. I do my part. You're doing your part. We're all getting rich together. Now let's continue on here. Next paragraph. The financial services industry's need for a common language is what led the Geneva-based International Organization for Standardization to launch its ISO 20022 uh, messaging standard in 2004. Now, when they're talking about a messaging standard, they're just talking about the language that it takes for the protocol to, uh, uh, the protocol must use to send those payments here and there. It's the communications data or data packets, if I'm interpreting that, interpreting that correctly, that needs to be transmitted back and forth in order, in order to move those particular currencies or whatever it is that is being, uh, uh, that's riding those cryptocurrency rails, so to speak, back and forth. So that's what they're talking about when they say messaging. They're going to use that language a lot, okay? So let's continue on here. Within this industry, the ISO 20022 messaging standard is used for business areas as such. Payments, securities, trade services, cards, foreign exchange, financial services organizations in more than 70 countries currently use the ISO 20022 standard, including the Clearinghouse's RTP network. So some of you might just say, I just off any moment, you just say ISO 20022. It sounds a lot cooler to say it the other way. I just like that. <laughs> Muy linda. We're going to get all, we're going to be so rich. It's ridiculous. Um, let's continue on here has used the standard since the payment platform launched in 2017. Additionally, the Federal Reserve's Fed Wire Fund Service and the Clearinghouse Interbank Payment System, CHIPS, are planning to roll out the ISO 20022 standard across their systems. The benefits of ISO 20022. So before we get into this next paragraph, let's just go into a little bit of what ISO 20022 is. It is the new payment system that will utilize particular cryptocurrencies in an interoperable system. This is why I've been saying XLM and XRP are not competitors. Algorand is not a competitor with them. They are all like teammates. They're going to work interoperably with one another, flowing seamlessly, one seamless system, moving quadrillions of dollars. There's enough money to go around for all systems, to, for, for all systems and their cryptocurrency prices to just go absolutely parabolic. And plenty of people stand, if this system is implemented correctly, stand to become millionaires and possibly billionaires. There's some people that hold a lot of coins, a lot of coins. They're going to be filthy rich. So they stand 
there stands to be millions upon millions and possibly billions of dollars made from those people who are holding a bounty of of crypto coins that are ISO 20022 certified. Let's continue on here. This paragraph is titled The Benefits of ISO 20022. ISO 20022 messages are vital to instant payments and play an important role in the overall modernization of the payment processes. So this is something we've been talking about for a long time. They need XLM, XRP to send those instant transmission, those instant remittances, those instant payments. Boom, just like that at almost no cost. They need them. Remember I made those videos? I told you they need this. And here, listen to this language. ISO 20022 messages are vital, vital. <laughs> money, 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 money. <laughs> Let's continue on. Specifically, they provide a structured and data rich common language that is readily exchanged among corporates and banking systems. This capability is foundational for innovations like moving from end of day batch file processing to real time payment processing. Additionally, ISO 20022 messages provide the opportunity for enhanced analytics, which can lead to offering valuable new levels of payment services to financial institutions, customers for corporates and financial institutions alike. Broad adoption of the ISO format will lead to operational efficiencies. Remember I said that We've been talking about efficiency for a long time. In one of my recent videos, I was talking about the efficiency of XLM. Well, that goes the same for Algorand, efficient. XRP, efficient. More, I would say at least 87 87% more efficient than the current system. And that might be underselling it, underselling it. The efficiency is so off the charts and there's such a chasm between what XRP, XLM, Algorand are doing right now such a chasm between them and what the old system is and their their dialed up tip system that is unbelievable and it's just far too tempting for them to use. They must use it. This is what they're telling you about calling it vital to instant payments. The messaging messaging that they're talking about is going to be the protocols themselves acting as the rails, uh, pushing and pulling money back and forth at lightning speeds get ready this next paragraph get ready for iso 20022 that's just the title i'm gonna just pause right there i take that as some kind of <laughs> message from the metaphysical to say hey listen get your bags ready get your luggage ready stack up more xlm more algorand more xrp it says get ready for iso 20022 now i know they don't mean it how i'm taking it but you should take it that way. You should definitely take it that way before this next few years uh, starts to roll in. And I'm going to explain why we're going to go to a couple of other websites to give you factual information. Now, let's continue on here. Broad industry adoption of the ISO 20022 messaging standard and the benefits of its highly structured data made it the logical choice for the Fed now service, the logical choice. Haven't I been saying that for the longest time? They need this, they must have it. It is illogical to use anything else. Let's continue on. The Federal Reserve's upcoming instant payments infrastructure and because ISO designed the standard to meet the needs for future innovation, it will be able to support the FedNow service as it evolves and adds capabilities to help payments industry prepare for the FedNow service 2023 launch. That's a day to remember. Fed now launches in 2023. Add that, that, that date. If you don't have it yet, add that year or a little mark at the beginning, January. If, if they give us a month, add the month, obviously, but right now they're just saying 2023 launch for Fed now. Fed now. There's a part of the system that's already starting to be rolled out. We're going to get into some dates uh, according to Swift and other websites in one moment. But add that date to your that year, a little pinpoint, so you can remember that. 2023 launch. We recently published the ISO 20022 messaging specifications that define the message flows and formats the FedNow service will use. At launch, 
FedNow service will use a variety of ISO message types, including for customer credit transfers, requests for payment, and interbank liquidity transfers. Liquid money, 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 money. <laughs> liquidity. When you hear liquidity, I know XLM and XRP uh, uh, holders are just salivating at, at the mouth. Liquidity is what you need. Speed is what you need. Security, and we have it. <laughs> Oh man, this is unbelievable. Let's continue on here. We plan to roll out an educational program, including roundtable discussions on ISO 20022. Stay tuned for details. Oh, I will be tuned in. I will be tuned in. I will be joining the mailing list if they have one. Believe me, we're gonna stay on top of this. Now. Let's go here to Swift. This is from swift.com slash standards. Timelines. It, this paragraph is titled Timelines. So we're going to take this extremely serious. Acting on feedback from the community, SWIFT will enable ISO 20022 messages for cross-border payments and cash reporting businesses from the end of 2022. Another time period to mark. Okay, let me repeat that. SWIFT will enable ISO 20022 messages for cross-border payments and cash reporting businesses from the end of, two of 2022, which extends the originally announced date by one year. This will provide financial institutions more time to select and work with third-party application and connectivity providers to ensure readiness. Accordingly, this does not change customer expectations for application and connectivity providers to be ISO 20022 ready in compliance with the cross-border and reporting plus guidelines by November 2020. The end date, the end date to enable full ISO 20022 for cross-border payments remains as originally planned November 2025. The coexistence period for current SWIFT MT messages and a new API based based exchange will run until that date. So the coexistence is only going to run until that date. And then the new system completely takes over and is completely online. So now you got, we have a couple of dates to work with. I know other people have discussed the 2025 date, but I'm I'm just for my audience. I'm, I'm giving you giving this to you from the swift.com website here. Uh, I'm not sure where others get their information from, but this is from swift.com slash standards. The other uh, article we read was from the uh, uh, the Fed's website, frbservices.org. So these are official sources telling you about this. Big moment here. Big mo moment here. Time to, time to figure out if you want to make money or not. Big bucks. This is the big boy game. This is the big. <laughs> this is time to, to get out the big luggage, in my opinion. Once in a lifetime opportunity, this will never happen again. This will never happen again. It doesn't matter if it takes one year, if it happens next month, one year, four years, five years, who cares? We're talking about millions and billions of dollars. How many times do you get the opportunity to make something like that and be involved in something like that? And the craziest part is most people don't want to hear about it. They don't want to hear about it. They don't care. We are part of a small percentage of individuals who are privy to information that is life changing life-changing will usher you from wherever you are from the bottom to the middle to the absolute top unbelievable and it's not a joke so much money poss possibly I'm not a financial advisor this is not financial advice but but taking in all of the data and looking at everything completely it all lends towards amounts of money being made that are unthinkable unthinkable and only a small percentage of us know about this tiny percentage it won't even make a blip on the world's radar so we think that we're a big community it seems like we have pretty good numbers but it's nothing compared to the world population we will be just a drop in the world population so the millionaires and billionaires that are made yes many will be made i believe firmly many will be will be made going by the data but It'll just be a blip when, when you take that and reconcile it with how many people are actually on the planet. It's nothing. The numbers are nothing. So I say prepare. I'm going to prepare all that I can. They're signaling the alarms. 
I know what I'm going to do. This had me so excited. I had to calm myself down. Muy linda. This, this right here. Muy linda, miente. I, had, I might have to do a little dance, a little dance after this. This is unbelievable. And we're in on it early. Early. We're in on it early. Stacks and stacks of cash. Man. Unbelievable, man. You know, let's say you have a boat. Imagine that. Imagine now you have the most premier yacht. You're sipping on a little bit of champagne right now. Imagine you had the most vintage wine possible. You smoke a little cigars now. What if you had the best cigars on the planet? Imagine that. And now know that because you hold Algorand, XRP, XLM, it could be a reality. Your children may never have to work again. You may never have to work again. All those things you wanted to do, you can now do. You come and go as you please. The world is now open, open to you. Imagine, and that's why every day we're watching those charts, we're reading the information, we are accumulating, we love dips. Freedom is at hand. The door is there. And we're gonna, we're gonna walk through it and take destiny. It's ours. So, now that you have that information, <laughs> Now that you have that information, what are you going to do with it? I know what I'm going to do with it. Time is a ticking. Tick tock, tick tock is ticking. And I'm going to use every little bit of it. I'm not missing this opportunity. Nothing's guaranteed in life. When you have an opportunity like this, I'm not going to miss out on it. So until next time, let's get to the money.